Jen here with Press Pass LA. Thanks for joining us. We are in Pasadena at the Langham Hotel, and we are about to talk to some of your favorite TV stars here at the Winter Press Tour for NBC and Universal. All right, I'm here with Kevin and Michael for Sirens. Tell us about the NBC tour. Tell us what we can expect coming up from your show. Uh, it's a workplace comedy about three EMTs in Chicago who are really kick-ass at their jobs and yep. really bad at their personal lives. I don't know if they're bad at their personal really lives. Bad. I'm bad. Okay. What do you mean bad at their personal lives? I mean they just can't get a date? Yeah. Well, no, I, I can get a date. You know, it's Johnny. Johnny could have a date. You're gay. It's easy. To it's all right, it's like, right? It's, it's easy. Like, it's like, Hank, like, Hank can have whatever he wants. Like Hank, Hank's, he's like he's he's actually really good at his job. That's right. As is Johnny. John, John, I think Johnny may be a better EMT than Hank. And I'm, you're better in the back. I can drive. I'm the driver. So it's a comedy. So I'm assuming some of these uh, things that they see are a little bit funny. The people that come into the emergencies. We're really hoping so. <laughs> <laughs> any crazy? Anything crazy? Like any crazy patients that you've had filmed? No, man. We've got like stuff. People, from people are putting bottles in places that they that shouldn't should go. Be bottles. Um, That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, people yeah. are uh, um, watching things they really shouldn't watch yeah, and you know, making us see the things that they shouldn't watch. Yeah, we have one guy. We're, we're taking him. He thinks he's having a heart attack. We're taking him back to the hospital before we drop him off. He throws us his house keys and he says, erase the browser on, on my internet history. Yeah. And so we're like, so we go to his, and this is a true story. No, this, this is, is actually this happened. This happened. And it, uh, they wrote the episode that, based on the person. We ain't going to yeah. say who it is, yeah. but you know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Just in case he died, he didn't want his wife to see. To find the thing. He, he really didn't want anybody to see that, yeah, though. Yeah. And then when we saw it, we, nobody should have seen the yeah, stuff that this we guy were, was watching. We scarred. So, so tune into Sirens and be scarred for life, basically. Yes, yes. That's exactly right. But tune into Sirens and be scarred for life. Laughter is the best medicine. Yeah, right. So what can we expect? We, we talked to some of the EMTs. They were really funny, two of the guys already. Yeah. Um, I, I hope you just expect a half an hour of laughing your ass off, because that's what we aim for. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. I'm here with Dermot and Jillian, and you guys have a new show, Crisis. Tell us a little bit about it and what we can expect from your characters. Well, in the pilot, what happens is uh, uh, some uh, elite high school kids get kidnapped on a bus. They're taking a bus for a school trip, and they get kidnapped. And um, one of the kids happens to be the president's son. And so you've got the Secret Service who are involved in um, in, uh, in in protecting those kids. Um, one of them gets shot. You've got FBI agents who then get engaged. CIA gets engaged to try and figure out what happened. And you've also got the parents of the kids who not only um, are some of the most high-powered people in the world, but they're also then being used by the masterminds um, because they've all got connections that could be useful to the mastermind, and they get um, they get asked to do things that they uh, that they um, that might no normally uh, be against their uh, standards and practices uh, in order to save their children. And so, what will the parents do in order to get their kids back? And you and you're both parents of the children that are abducted. We're both parents of the. Uh, children. I'm actually um, a chaperone on their field trip on this bus. So I'm on the bus and I too am abducted purportedly. So it's how far will you guys go to protect the kids and get them back? Exactly. Ultimately, so yes. So each, even though it's a, it's a thriller and it has action, intrigue, um, what it also has is really personal connections between the characters. Uh, so um, you have uh, uh, badass FBI agents and, and Secret Service agents roaming around, you know, offing people. But you know why, and they're doing it from their, their best intentions, right? And one of them is uh, played by Rachel T Taylor, who plays my sister, who's an FBI agent who's on the case. We haven't uh, been speaking for 16 years, and so this uh, event brings us together again, and we have to negotiate our relationship relationship at the same time that uh, we're trying to get the kids back. All right, we're here with Gabriel. Suits coming back again. Congratulations. Great show. What can we expect new for this season? Uh, there are, there's a lot to expect this next season. Um, not the next season. It's season 3.5, right? Mid yes, mid-season. Mid -season. So mid-season. What are we going to expect? We're gonna, we, we, we can expect that Harvey has committed to his relationship with Scotty. Um, he's also a name partner, so she's working for him now. And uh, they've, they've become committed in a, in a more honest way approach to their to their relationship because they've kept things along the way and and now Harvey is is trying to be as sensitive and as kind and as easygoing and as truthful with her as ever as a man can possibly be <laughs> exactly the only catch is he's got a fake you know fake lawyer working for him 
So that's going to create uh, some complications. Um, Lewis is catching on to Mike's secret, and Harvey's going to have to clean that up. Uh, we can expect some um, little known. Well, this guy's not really an actor. He was. was he did a little cameo. It wasn't a big deal, but sort of an eight-time, 18-time gold medalist. I don't know. Michael Phelps did a little cameo on the show. Um, turned out to be a natural actor, actually. He's good at everything. He's pretty awesome at everything, and you know, we were just hoping that some of his greatness would, you know, rub off on us. Because well, thank you so much for stopping today. Can you tell us what we can expect for the return? I guess it's mid-season right now. Yes, go for yeah, it. well, we've got, you know, we left um, Pearson Spectre with Lewis kind of hot on the trail of the fact that Mike might not have a file in the Harvard file room. So, um, you know, he senses that something's wrong, so we've all got to kind of deal with uh, that situation when we come back. And I think, you know, for both of our characters, especially all the women of the firm, have to deal with supporting the men, keeping them sort of grounded and aware of what's happening. But for Rachel especially, you know, it's Mike's secret. She's trying to build a future with this guy. And so relationships are complicated to begin with, but then you have a guy who basically could get arrested. He's a fraud. So. He's a fake lawyer. He's a fake lawyer. It, it, it does sort of um, thicken the plot just a little bit. So it's really a complicated back six episodes, but... The, really yeah, the it. back six are definitely a nail biter. Yes. Nail Do you think we'll, we'll, he'll be find, found out at some point? I think you're going to have to tune in. <laughs> I think that if we told you any of that, we would we probably would not have job security. <laughs> um, but it is really exciting. Even when we read the last two scripts of the season, we were calling each other, oh my God, dude, how, how are we going to get out of this yeah. one? It's really good. All right, well, we'll tune in to see how it turns out. <laughs> All right, thanks. We're with Jake and Johnny from New Show Believe. Tell me what we can expect from this show. You can expect the unexpected from this show, to be Definitely. honest with you. It's, uh, Lots of different things. Yeah, so it's, it's 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 one of those shows where um, we have a lot of there's a science fiction element to it, and there's there's this this girl with these special powers and all of this stuff going on, these amazing these amazing storylines that are going on. But the heart of it is the that it's so character driven and the relationships in the show, especially um, uh, character Bo and John played by Johnny and myself um, Tate, which is um, it's pretty special, and that's what makes it a unique show and one that's that's going to be worth watching. And what are your roles and relationships to each other in the show? Well, I play Tate. I play a uh, death row inmate that gets broken out to protect her um, from a group of people that are out to exploit her for the powers that she does uh, possess. And um, Delroy Lindo's character, Winter, breaks me out, and they're a group of people that are protecting her from those people. And so that's, that's where I come into it. But I'm a little bit reluctant to do it. Did you do any cool, fun stunts or anything for the show? Yeah, I do, but I'm kind of scared of them, so I usually have a stunt double do them. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we're here with the cast of Hannibal. Tell us, how, what can we expect that's going to be different, a new twist on this classic story? Well, I think from the, from the beginning, right, this story was, I mean, people know the books. They, they recognize the world, they recognize the characters, but it was uh, infused with Brian Fuller's imagination. Um, the, the, a lot of the imagery has just come straight out of his, you know, his unconscious, I guess, and he's thrown it straight in there. So, uh, yeah, we're trying to walk a line between uh, loyalty to the, to the material and the characters and, and Thomas Harris's amazing books and all those movies and so on and so forth, and, and also having our own take on it and our own vision of it. What have you guys liked best so far going into it, filming through the press tour? Any like favorite moment that you're, you like to talk about? There's a lot of favorite moments. I mean, obviously all the plateaus of horror are fantastic for us to be part of because they, the prosthetic people have done such an amazing work and, uh, and we will try to make that another day at the office, which is, can be hard sometimes because it's, 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 uh, it's out of this world. All right, we're here with Caroline and Lawrence from Hannibal. Can you tell us what we can expect from both your characters this season coming up? Uh, I will be uh, very confused about everything. <laughs> and I will look like a complete dummy, but <laughs> I will figure it out. In the end, you will figure it out. <laughs> I will figure it out. <laughs> and how about you? Well, I think my character knows Will's heart. I don't think she she questions. Uh, she knows he was ill when these things happened, and she's just trying to get him to face the facts and heal. Anything you guys are looking forward to in particular filming this season? Any certain episodes that you might know are coming up that you're really excited to start working on? We're getting ready to do this. I think eight is the the one we're in the middle of, and it's got a it's got a tableau in it, man. That's like woo! Uh, involves a horse and a woman. Yeah. 
and uh, it's not sexual. Uh, <laughs> good to add. Good to add that in there. That's where I'm going with this. That's not where we're going with this. Uh, it's just uh, supremely uh, disturbing. Disturbing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right, we will tune in to be disturbed. <laughs> Thanks for stopping with us, guys. Thank you. So we are here with uh, Billy and Kira from Helix. Tell us what we can expect coming back now for winter for your show. Coming, I'm sorry, can you ask me that one again? Uh, what can we expect for the new season or for the, the winter season for your show? The winter season. Well, we just aired three episodes. And uh, I would say after episode three, it takes a completely different turn that is unexpected. It goes off the rails. It goes completely off the rails. And it's a huge mystery and a surprise. And uh, that's about all I can say about where it's going past episode three. <laughs> without giving, without giving yeah. things away. Yeah, um, yeah it's, uh, it gets uh, more of everything you've already seen times 10. You get more intense, more suspenseful, more frightening, more disgusting, uh, and uh, just more. Sci-Fi Channel is really kind of doing great now. Your show is doing great. Lost Girls doing great. Can you tell us about like working with that network and and your characters? And I love Sci-Fi. Um, I think that uh, they they seem to be getting progressively better. And I think that uh, Helix is. We've got some a great team of people behind it with Ron Moore and uh, some great writing. And it, I think it's um, it's kind of expanding into some other genre. I think people who don't typically go for sci-fi will start to go for Helix. Mm. You know, because it's it's not just sci-fi. It's it's based in real science. It's based in real viral outbreaks. It's a real scare for people. And so um, I think that's what makes it kind of interesting. And also, I feel like because there is the sci-fi aspect, there's a lot that your characters can kind of go anywhere, kind of do anything, whereas other characters that are maybe more grounded in reality don't get to explore as much. That's the great thing about sci-fi, about uh, uh, speculative fiction in, in general, is that you can entertain any notion. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, I mean, that's the, that's, the, uh, that's the kernel of why I love science fiction and, and why I'm happy to be on Sci-Fi Channel. Well, we just enjoyed catching up with some of your favorite TV actors. We cannot wait to see their shows this winter. Don't forget to tune in.